All right, well, hi, parents. I uh, want to show you briefly how you can use the, the Gospel Project app from LifeWay Kids uh, with your, your kids uh, for family devotions or even just follow up uh, on our Gospel Project children's curriculum that we're using uh, on Sundays. I'm mirroring an, an iPad screen, but this can be it's very similar to the iPhone or even any smart device that you might have. So let's do this. Well, first, you're going to go to the LifeWay Kids app, and um, most likely at the bottom, you'll have a little button for the library. You click that, and you click the specific volume that, that we are on that you've purchased uh, for your smartphone or smart device. I'm just going to go to volume four. All right, so you open up volume four, and you have this layout. And in the layout, you have a number of icons at the top, and then scrolling down from uh, volume four, you have a couple units, unit 10, unit 11, and unit 12, and all these different stories um, that, that uh, are part of just this specific volume. And so here's a, a good way that you can do a family devotion in the morning with your kids. They have these theme songs, and the theme songs are for the whole volume, and usually they have two theme songs for preschool and two theme songs for kids. Uh, one of them is, I guess, more of a contemporary song, and the other one is uh, a hymn, but they're really upbeat. And, uh, not this one, but uh, they're really kid-friendly is what I, I mean to say. And so, but uh, those, are, those are options. You can start off your time with listening to songs and uh, worshiping with your kids and teaching them songs that, uh, that they can memorize. And then you'll notice that, I don't know why they do this, but, you know, Unit 10 is where we're at, so you click Unit 10. And um, after you get done with uh, the theme song, one thing that's really fun is to do the key passage song. So for each unit, there's a different, uh, a different memory verse. And both of these are the same verse. I kind of like the preschool ones. Uh, and so you can listen to that. And it's a song that's actually put to... Uh, a passage that goes along with the overarching theme of this particular unit and this particular volume. So I like the theme songs and the key passage. The big picture question is really a big, the big picture questions for the whole uh, volume and unit, but there's also another place to do that as well. Uh, this gospel icon is a just a wonderful way to walk your kids through the gospel. They can click it and it has a, a kid-friendly way to just explain what is the gospel, because that's the primary goal here. Uh, not behavioral change, but heart change through the gospel message. So this is something that you can go through with your kids as well from time to time. Maybe not every morning, but again, theme song, key passage song. And of course, like you can actually go through the memory verse with them. And this is just their way to access it. They have the C... SB and the ESV. So even right here, you've got some, some music you can do with your kids. They can learn worship songs together with you. You have a memory verse uh, that you can do with your kids that will be tied to what we're doing. Uh, and, and you can actually revisit it as well as you are purchasing um, different volumes. It's super cheap, so that's really great. And then if you want to um, do the session with them as well, and if you click the session, uh, you have the big picture flashcards. That's another, that's probably the next thing that I would do. The theme song, scripture passage, and the big picture questions, which includes the, those questions that, that were on the, the homepage. And so you swipe over, and this is more of like a theology question for, for little kids. Is anything greater than God? No, God is greater than everything. And that's the preschool version. If you want to do a more advanced version, you click kids. And uh, no, God is greater than everything and everyone. So sometimes it's just a little bit more additional things that, that, that they say. There's not that much of a difference, but there's usually three or so big picture questions that are more of a theology. And again, this is kind of weird, but we're on session one in the first volume. But that's more of a, like a doctrine kind of time you can have with your kids. And so teaching them some doctrine, which is really great. And then you have a number of games up here, uh, key passage recorder, they can practice recording the passage, uh, key passage mix up, which is like a, 
a puzzle that, you, that they put together. Um, and also the story point puzzle is, is one way that they can do the main point of the story through a puzzle. So putting together these puzzle pieces to get the main point. Um, oftentimes I'll do the story point color, which I'm not turning it sideways. You can turn it sideways, but I don't even know if screen share would even do anything differently. But this is just a way for like even your littlest kids to go through and just, what's the main point of the story? Oh, and they, un they uncover it. And then you can tell them, okay, well, here's the main point of the story that we're about to watch. God, you know, called Hannah's son to share God's plan. And so you have the main point of the story, and then you come to the Bible story video, and you can watch the kids or the preschool version. Uh, they're very similar. Uh, the kids one is maybe a little bit more, slightly more advanced. The main difference with the preschool one is uh, the puppet lady uh, who shows up at the very beginning. And so you click this. Hello, everyone. And you can make it full screen. Hello, everyone. I'm Megan, and this is Jesse. Hi. Jesse, why are you wearing a helmet? Oh, uh, well, it's because I really, really, really. All right. So, I mean, oftentimes with uh, my kids, we'll just watch both of them, the preschool and the kids one. So it just reinforces it. And then after you watch the, the video, you can even have, they have some questions that you can ask them. And again, like sometimes they're helpful. Sometimes you can reword them or you can go back over the main point with them as well. And if, and if you want to do this, there's also a little coloring thing that you can do, um, which, you know, kids like that kind of stuff. And, and so, but this is something you can like do with your kids, like at breakfast or something like, you know, you're, you're making them breakfast. They're listening to the theme songs and then they're listening to the key passage. You're saying the key passage with them. And then you're going to the story and reviewing some big picture theology questions with them that are geared specifically towards kids. And, and then you're also like, like helping them understand the main points of the story. And so it's just an incredible tool um, to use for family discipleship. So I hope that you find this really helpful and also can reinforce what we do on Sundays. Um, so like, hey, so we have a, a, the content for Sunday. You can revisit it uh, a couple times during the week with them. Um, and so we just want to assist you. We don't want to like replace you. We want to partner with you as you are the main, the main people that God has, has chosen to disciple your children. So I hope it can be helpful. I'm looking forward to talking with you some more and working together on, on discipling uh, our, our kids together. And eventually here, I'm going to figure out how to stop this thing.